What actually happened last year in artificial intelligence? Everyone is talking about artificial intelligence. Artificially intelligent machine. New artificial intelligence. Just when I'm getting up to speed with AI, it feels like they release another new thing. Artificial intelligence is a buzzword now, but here are the seven most important stories in AI that you should care about. Last year, we developed a malaria vaccine, one that is showing astonishingly positive results. Malaria impacts 220 million people worldwide every year. And last year, over 600,000 people died, primarily pregnant women and children. The new R21 Matrix M vaccine has a 75% efficacy rate in late stage trials, meaning that the consequences of malaria are now 75% less damaging. That's 40% better than the previous vaccine developed just two years ago. To develop this vaccine, we needed to understand something called protein folding, a problem that's teased scientists since literally the 1960s, but it's something that we can now solve with artificial intelligence. Protein folding is a process fundamental to nearly all biological functions. If we could understand how they work, then we could unlock the key to designing drugs to fight all of our most damaging diseases. Google DeepMind's AlphaFold is an open source AI program and data set that has allowed the medical community free access to understanding proteins. And it's not just this public open source one. Tons of biotech companies have their own internal AIs to unlock the secrets behind proteins themselves. Without solving this problem, the R21 Matrix M probably wouldn't have been possible. Our better understanding of protein folding not only allowed us to create this malaria vaccine, it also was a key component of the mRNA COVID-19 vaccinations. We have a way better understanding of Parkinson's disease, previously an enigma to us. It's been used in the fight against antibiotic resistance, which some doctors consider to be their number one anxiety. And it's been used in the research of neglected tropical diseases like Leishmaniasis, Chagas disease, and dengue fever. This is only the beginning. The American CHIPS Act, also known as the Chips and Science Act, has had a major impact on the development of both AI in the United States and also internationally. To develop AI, you need processing power. To have processing power, you need graphics cards. And to have graphics cards, you need chips. The CHIPS Act provides roughly $280 billion to manufacture chips and semiconductors within the borders of the United States. It also channeled more than $52 billion into research specifically to combat the rise of another AI superpower, China. American citizens and companies are now banned from manufacturing certain types of chips in China and from working with Chinese firms to develop them on threat of having their citizenships revoked. Make no mistake, this has kneecapped the development of Chinese AI, which is considered to be the biggest competitor to America by limiting their hardware capacity and thus their software capacity as well. China imports more than $400 billion of computer chips annually. That makes it bigger than oil. China does have many advantages in AI. It has a huge, skilled labor force, fewer government barriers to AI deployment and data collection, and they spend less time on ethical considerations. But the CHIPS Act really puts them back a few steps, as companies like NVIDIA and Intel are forced to pull out of China. This is all coupled with improved cloud computing capabilities from the likes of Microsoft Azure and Google Colabs within the United States. There is an international race to increase the amount of computing power available. And it's been exploding exponentially, which will provide exponential changes for AI as well. Europe is also understood to be drafting their own version of the CHIPS Act, which will be a further blow to China. Really, what this all shows is that governments are beginning to understand the importance of AI in the future and are willing to invest heavily in it. Number five on our list is fusion. For decades since the 70s, after the relative success of nuclear fission, scientists have been trying to harness the power of fusion energy but it was always considered a pipe dream. However, recent advancements in AI have changed that. Recently at the National Ignition Facility in the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, 
Scientists delivered about 2 megajoules of energy to a fusion fuel target, resulting in about 3 megajoules of fusion energy output. Now what that means is that is the first time a science basis for inertial fusion energy has ever been demonstrated in real life. Really, it's the first time positive energy output has ever been recorded in fusion. We weren't even sure that we could do that. So, how did they achieve this breakthrough? Using a cognitive simulation machine learning team called CogSim, they ran thousands of theoretical experiments with machine learning and found that the system would indeed produce energy before it was even tried. This helped avoid previous year's pitfalls where scientists were not actually sure what would happen in the experiment and ensured maximum efficiency and data was achieved from these limited real-life experiments. You can't just fire off a fusion reactor 50 times a day. It's incredibly complicated. So if you're able to use AI to simulate what's going to happen before you even do it, you can be much more confident when you actually conduct the experiment. Google's DeepMind has actually been working on solving nuclear fusion problems since about 2014. And as a result of all of this, the US government is now offering tens of millions in new funding to model what happened in the experiment and predict future reactions. The real-life application of AI in fusion energy research is all about making energy production more efficient and sustainable. Fusion has a bad reputation because of its slow development and its inability to leave the lab. Before this, we've never even seemed close. But through AI simulations, we can take fusion energy out of scientific papers and into reality without a hideous price tag. Keep an eye on ITER in France. Basically, the entire world is working on this fusion reactor. And in 2025, they're going to have their first plasma reaction. Even though renewables are here right now, fusion suddenly doesn't seem so far away. Next, we've got the topic that roared AI to popularity this year image generative AI. The progress made in AI image generation over the past few years has been nothing short of remarkable. In just one year, we went from this to this. We can now generate beautiful pictures with software, and with the ability to generate high quality images and videos at a fraction of the cost, businesses and people can cut down on costs and increase efficiency in a way that was never before possible. Stock imagery will certainly be the first industry to be affected, but generative AI isn't just about creating new images or videos. It has the potential to revolutionize multiple industries from entertainment to advertising and even like healthcare or transportation. The options currently available are both free and paid, depending on the provider, but rather than talking about it, I think it would be better to just let the art speak for itself. The rapid advancement in art gen AI does not come without ethical controversy. Human art communities are currently in uproar about the potential to automate their work, as well as the allegations of stolen data in the training material of many of these AIs. I think it's important to remember that as AI continues to evolve, there's a possibility that it could automate jobs across multiple industries and across multiple sectors. So it's increasingly important for us to consider the ethical implications of these advancements, not just for art, but also for AI in general. In the past, it was generally accepted that supposedly low-skilled work and tasks like flipping burgers would be automated before any sort of tertiary work like office jobs, or even more so, creative work like art. That was often considered to be the domain of only humans. But Sam Altman, co-founder and CEO of OpenAI has said that it seems to be going in the reverse direction, with the automation of tertiary jobs before primary jobs. A lot of automation is not as obvious as Art Gen AI. It consists of subtle processes that improve workflow or improve efficiency, and it happens gradually over time. But Art Gen AI has shown people even unfamiliar with artificial intelligence what is going to be possible in the future. In 2022, we made the first breakthroughs using quantum computers ever. This is an enormously complex topic where even experts have great difficulty explaining it. But don't worry. If you don't know what a quantum computer is, it mainly does the work of supercomputers, and it's not going to be in your home anytime soon. We think that the meat and potatoes of what happened in 2022 lie in a study conducted by scientists at the Los Alamos National Laboratory. 
Experts have long worried that quantum artificial intelligence or machine learning programs would require an impossibly large amount of data. However, this new research has shown that making an AI in a quantum computer would use only 30 data points, instead of, say, 30 billion. Regular AI has been used in physics for decades to simulate things like aerodynamics. But if you build an AI in a quantum computer, you could use it to understand the fundamentals of our universe. Such as earlier this year, when physicists use a new quantum computer to prove wormholes can transmit data or matter. That's so significant that it's a problem Albert Einstein believed was impossible to solve using traditional mathematics. At first glance, the 2022 advances in quantum computing might not seem directly related to AI. But the truth is that the closer we get to quantum computing being viable, the closer we get to quantum AI superseding the abilities of our greatest supercomputers. This has so many direct applications, but most of them are in advanced research, so they're not very headline worthy. The important thing to remember is that using this technology, we could be able to answer questions we never could before. The fundamental questions of the universe, like, why are we here? We used quantum computers to do something for the first time. We also proved that a quantum AI wouldn't require billions of data points, it would only require a few. If you're into AI and you've missed the number two entry on our list, then we would be quite surprised. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT and large language models are making waves in the industry and are quickly becoming the hottest topic in AI. But for the unfamiliar, what exactly is Chat GPT or a large language model? In short, they are advanced language processing models that can understand and generate human like text. The possibilities of these models are endless, and we're seeing them being used in a wide range of applications from helping programmers write code, to automating email responses, and even coming up with creative recipes. It's acting almost like a general intelligence. One particularly interesting use case is someone who modded it to integrate into the game Mountain Blade Bannerlord to create bespoke AI responses from NPCs in the game. Typically in video games, we call things AIs that have been pre-programmed by humans. But this is literally an artificial intelligence for a character. It understands what you've asked it, and it gives unique generated responses. People are using it as a personal assistant to brainstorm and talk through ideas. Some are using it as a Linux kernel, debugging code, playing text-based games, or even translating text while it explains the translation, including idiomatic expressions. You know that translation of typing something into Google Translate and having the response be a direct translation and not the actual meaning of what you were saying? ChatGPT can understand your meaning, explain what it is, and then give you an appropriate translation based on the meaning rather than directly translating the words in the sentence like Google Translate. But ChatGPT isn't the only player in the game. Competitors such as Google's Lambda are also making significant advancements in the field, although their capabilities have so far been kept a secret. Other notable public LLMs include Replica AI, Jasper Chat, Diallo, and more. And in addition to LLMs being used as chatbots, other applications have been found as well, such as Galactica, a large language model for science and research papers, and Cicero, the diplomacy game playing robot that can talk to other players and gain their trust. Both of these created by Zuckerberg's Meta Corporation. It's no surprise that companies like Microsoft are already investing in ChatGPT and LLMs, with rumors circulating of another $10 billion investment into OpenAI. That would make it worth about $30 billion. And apparently, the next version of GPT-4 is going to be even more powerful. The money is flowing, and ChatGPT really feels like the first breakthrough towards artificial general intelligence, the ability for a computer to have a general intelligence at or above that of a human. Right, are you ready to discover the number one unsung heroes of the AI world? While intelligent chatbots and art generation AIs are grabbing headlines, there's another side of AI that's been quietly revolutionizing the business world. We're talking about so-called boring AI. The machine learning, predictive analytics, and deep learning that are driving efficiency and productivity in companies everywhere. But don't let the name fool you. These advancements are incredibly important. 
Imagine being able to predict customer behavior, interests, and preferences with precision thanks to the Internet of Behaviors, or streamlining tedious tasks like returns processing with the holy grail of business automation, robotic process automation. RPA allows anyone to define a set of instructions for a robot to perform. It reduces the time that employees spend on mundane tasks and frees up their time for more productive work. For example, think about the last time that you returned a purchase that you made online. RPA significantly cuts the costs for companies to process that. 2022 saw a huge surge in the adoption of these technologies as businesses look for ways to stay competitive in the face of the pandemic and remote work. In fact, a survey by McKinsey of global businesses found that 39% of businesses are using some form of RPA, 33% are using natural language text understanding and virtual assistants, and 30% are using deep learning. And the most significant statistic of all, of all the companies surveyed, a majority of 56% stated that they are adopting AI in at least one area of their daily functions. That means that a majority of globally competitive businesses need to use AI to stay ahead. The impact of these boring technologies goes far beyond just businesses. They're driving job growth and shaping the future of the economy as a whole. According to consulting firm Forrester, AI and machine learning will create 9% of all new jobs in the US by 2025. Trillions of dollars will be made using AI to integrate seamlessly into existing structures, and this is just the beginning. We're finding it difficult to think of a job that can't be replaced in the future. For an upcoming video, it'd be super helpful if you'd leave a comment on a job that you think is going to be human-dominated in the future. If that interests you, subscribe to The Singularity Report to stay up to date on the latest news about the future.